Eye Wax and Book Friends. So glad to have you here. My name is Amber. I am an independent Scentsy consultant, and I do post about bookish stuff and home fragrance because I adore both. So today I'm so, so excited. I finally, it seems like it was taking forever with this order, got in my Sense of the Season bundles and look how cute they are. So not all of them are for me. I do have some for customers as well, but I couldn't wait to sit down and sniff them for you guys and give you my first impressions. So, oh, and I also got um, the Tom the Turkey, an extra dish. Um, it is a, It was a limited time offer warmer and usually those dishes, especially if they're licensed ones, they always have like unique dishes. And so I like to get extra, an extra dish just in case, you know, cause you never know something might break. So I picked up another dish for my beloved Tom the Turkey Warmer, which is one of my absolute favorite uh, fall warmers. So, okay, moving on. Let us check out the scents of the season. And this does have the scent notes in them. Of course, I can't read them. Hold just one second. Okay, I grabbed my glasses and that way I can actually read what the notes are as I um, grab them and sniff them for you. But I love that it comes in this adorable little red velvet giftable bag and it has five cents in it. So I'm just going to grab in and let's see what we got going on. Okay. The first one is called Cherry Cherry and these labels are adorable. The color is a cherry red and let's see the notes. It is lighthearted candied cherry and spiced amber with a wink of smoked marshmallow and blackberry. Okay, so this kind of is giving me Sanderson Sisters Perfectly Wicked vibe. So I'm curious to see how close. I'm looking to see if I have that bar on me. Uh, I do. I have an empty bar right here. So I'm going to sniff this and see how similar to that one it is. I could see it being like a cousin kind of. Ooh. This is nice. It isn't the same. It isn't the same. Yeah, no, it isn't the same as this one, but similar. I, I, could, I could see it in the same family. Like I said, maybe a cousin, second cousin twice removed type of thing. But I'm getting that marshmallow. I'm getting a cherry. It's not as bright and tart of a cherry as Sanderson Sisters. Candied cherry, spiced amber. Okay, yeah, there is like an amber musky note to this. And there is, yeah, blackberry. And that smoked marshmallow. It's not overly smoky at all. So if you don't like smoke in your scent, I would say don't worry about it on cold anyway. It is not a like overwhelmingly smoky scent. I like this, this is really nice. I don't think it would beat Sanderson Sisters for me, which I'm totally obsessed with um, and have been since three years ago when it first released. Uh, I love it in the fall, um, but I think this is gonna be a good one. So Cherry Cherry, winner, one, one out of one so far, winner. Okay, the next one is eggnog. Again, adorable label. And the notes for this one are warm, spicy tones of nutmeg, rum, and cream. And this scent is an old school scent that just came back for the collection. So I've never smelled that one. I, I've smelled spice eggnog that came out like four, five years ago in... I think it was the Bricks, Holiday Bricks, or it might've been another sense of the season, um, but I've never tried regular eggnog. 
Now, do I like to drink eggnog? No, I'm not a fan of eggnog at all. Let me know in the comments if you like eggnog. It's either a love or hate thing, I've noticed. And sorry, it's a hate thing for me. But I don't mind the scent, so we'll see. We'll see. It's a creamy white. Hmm. And I can't remember. Okay, so... From my memory, spiced eggnog is a spice, has spicier sense, which makes sense because it's called spiced eggnog, obviously, than this one. There is an egginess to it and a, like a rummy note. Yep, rum, nutmeg, I'm not, maybe a tiny bit. I don't know. I don't know. I, the jury's out on this one. On cold, I don't hate it. But again, I'm not, I don't like to drink eggnog. So I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see how that one is. Okay, next one. Brand new scent, Merry Wonderland. And the notes for this one are, this one is pink apple and clove dashed through a dreamy, sparkling spruce woodland so i am curious and i don't have the bar on me i forgot to get it um curious to see how close to wassail wonderland it is which if you've been around with me for a while you know that's like my all-time favorite like holiday scent i adore wassail wonderland it will never leave my sensi club which is our subscription service Tons of perks. It's my favorite thing ever because you can save bars and Sensi will continue to make them for you even after they've retired. So uh, Wassa Wonderland hasn't been back in like three years. I still get it. I love it. So Love Club, that will be linked down in the description for you guys. Um, so I'm curious to see how close to that one this is, just because, especially because of the name, it makes me feel like it might be similar. Of course, it's Apple, though. So it does make me feel like maybe Holly Jolly Cider, which kind of reminded me of Wassail Wonderland last year, and that one's in my club as well. I still haven't decided if I want to keep it, but I'm keeping it still because it's different enough. Um, that one reminds me of an apple version of Wassail Wonderland a little bit. So we'll see. This one's apple is two. Okay. No, it's not the same as Wassail Wonderland. I feel like this one is a little more spice heavy. Yeah, it's the clove. Definitely clove. You get that. And a little more, a slightly more evergreen, um, to, comparing it to Wassail Wonderland. The apple in it is almost a perfumey apple to my nose. I like this. I do like it. A little more spice forward. But it is a very nice, like, holiday type scent for sure. Do I think I ever see it replacing my beloved Wassail Wonderland? No. But I like the smell of it for sure on cold. It is a Christmassy scent for sure. Okay, so this is a returning one. It was in my club, but I knew it was coming back, so I did take it out of my club for my last shipment in October. But it will be going back in my club because it is amazing. And that is Meant to be Merry. So you did, if you didn't get a chance to put this one in a Scentsy Club when it was out last year as a scent of the month, pretty sure it was last year, now you can do it. So get on that. This is an amazing scent. So let me read the official notes for you on this one. This one is Merry Mint fills the air when crushed candy cane and sparkling sugar brighten a creamy butter cookie. And this one's so good, you guys. That's what it smells like. It smells like a sugary, buttery cookie with a peppermint frosting. 
It's so good. I love this scent so much. Oh my gosh. If you are into bakery, if you're into holiday bakery specifically, you will love the scent. Uh, from a, what I remember in the past, it's not like an overwhelmingly strong throw, but for me, it was a medium. Um, so yeah, I love it. And yeah, I can't wait to get melt more of it because I love it so much. Okay, and then the last one is also a returning scent. So the only two of them were new scents. The other three are returning. This was actually in January's Bring Back My Bar. I'm pretty sure it was January. That is Toasted Apple Butter. And this one is Creamy Butter. I gotta put my glasses on just one second. Creamy Butter blended with ripe apples at accented with rich spices. And this one is very like toasty apple. The toasted apple butter is a good, a good um, description of this. Cause this isn't, this isn't a fresh juicy apple. It is like, it's been baked down and simmered with a ton of spice. I almost get, I do get a buttery quality to it, and I almost get a nuttiness. And maybe that's just because it's that deep um, baked type of apple. It's it's a nice scent. Not my favorite apple scent, but I I do enjoy it. It's toasty and warm and cozy type of scent. So that is toasted apple butter. Okay, I always like to um, decide which ones are my favorite or least favorite to favorite. So let us see, let us see. I'm gonna sniff them all again real quick and then we can decide. It's kind of easy with some of them because I've already had experience recently melting them. Okay. Okay. Least favorite. I don't dislike any of these, um, but if I'm rating them, this is my least favorite. Eggnog. It might end up surprising me warming. Um, not bad though. It's just, I... If it reminds me of actual eggnog, I'm not sure how much I'm going to like it. So we'll see. Eggnog. Then this is going to be a shocker. Toasted apple butter. Again, I don't dislike this, but if I'm comparing apple scents, this isn't my favorite apple. But it is a nice cozy um, type of wintry home fragrance. Then brand new one. Merry Wonderland. I do enjoy this one. It is a great, on cold anyway, it smells like it'll be a great Christmas scent for sure for the holidays. Yeah. Uh, just a little more spice forward than I personally like. And then we have to go with Cherry Cherry. I, I think I'm going to really like this one. Does it smell like Sanderson Sisters? No, but I don't need something to smell like Sanderson Sisters because I already have Sanderson Sisters. But I do feel like it's, like I said, a second cousin twice removed type of scent. I like it. It's nice. And then my favorite, Meant to be Merry. This is just holiday bakery goodness in a bar. I love it so much. So that's it, you guys. So if you had a chance to sniff these or even melt them, what are your thoughts on them? And again, let me know, do you like eggnog, drinking eggnog? Yes or no? Uh, it'll be interesting to, to see the results of that. Um, thank you so much for spending some time with me. Please like and subscribe so you can see more home fragrance and book content. And I, until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day. TTFN. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>